practically, let's just think this through. If this was a renovation, uh, and we're saying all of the floor is created with these small hardwood joists and with hardwood tongue and groove flooring, what is the current materiality of the subfloor of the bathroom? It's either a continuation of timber, it could be hardwood, it could be an engineered timber, it's probably not though, because uh, it's an old house, or it could be an asbestos board. Now the reality is that when we're renovating, we're going to be ripping up the tiles and ripping up the underfloor, the, the mortar, the screed, the bedding, the waterproofing, and of course we're not going to be able to leave the subfloor. It's going to have to come up as well. So what we could do, of course we'd have to think this through whether it's worth doing, we could change the entire height of the floor by reducing, by either trimming, making them shorter, or setting down the joists, the floor joists. Now, this instance, in which case I'm drawing this, is based on a single story house with a fairly large subfloor. And so we could potentially get away with saying, well, let's just set down this whole thing 30 millimeters. So that means we end up having a fantastic threshold relationship between our bathroom and our, the rest of our house. And that would still work potentially with everything else if we could do that consistently just in the bathroom. So let's just bring this down to align with it. So a detail like this would work really well and that would effectively be giving us the same result as what we see if we're doing a concrete slab, which is where we're setting down the concrete slab. Now at the end, does this happen? No, probably not. It depends what's happening. If this was an outside wall, we'd probably want to bring this joist down as well. If this was an internal room, then maybe we'd split that. So what might that look like? Let's just create a copy of this and explain it. Move, drag a copy. Let's again go for a double joist. Or mirror a copy for this one. Let's say it was terminating here. Uh, let's move that actually this way. And we'll bring this up. and this across here. So potentially, uh, our floor could look like this. This could be the way that we create this, and that would create a better result in terms of a better waterproof detail and work with the rest of the house in order to be creating this set down in the bathroom, just like we would if it was a concrete slab, so that we get better threshold relationships and potentially better waterproofing relationships than we would have in this one here.